What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to do a quick video here today, an update on Scream 7. Nev Campbell has talked about her excitement returning as Sydney Prescott in the upcoming sequel to the other five or the other six films that we have after she set out the sixth entry due to a pay dispute. So she shared this information with People Magazine. She's had some lovely new photos come out of her. She said, I'm really grateful that the studio gotta be spyglass that the studio heard me when i talked about pay discrepancy and when i talked about screams or when i talked about not feeling respectful it feels nice to have put that out into the world and to have been listened to and have made a difference in that way i hope other people get that opportunity too i'm really excited that kevin williamson is going to direct i think he's been wanting to do it for years and he deserves it this is his baby he's going to do a phenomenal job i'm really excited that kevin williamson is going to direct uh, or actually, no, that's just the same quote over again. But yeah, the gist of it is she's happy. She's made it clear that she's talking about money here. And I've seen some people already say, oh, so she really was all about money. I have to raise this question to you. When she initially dropped out of six, where did all of this outside influence come from that she was not only talking about money? I think she made it very clear that what she was talking about was money when she set out Scream 6. I'm not saying that money is all that Nev Campbell cares about. She definitely also has shown she cares about the usage and how Sydney Prescott is utilized. She's shown that too. But when she sat out 6, I did start to notice people picking apart what she said and pointing at the fact that she's talking about more than just a pay dispute. And it's like, no, when she's talking about fair treatment, she seemed to always double down on she means getting paid just as much as men were making in Hollywood. Now, if I misunderstood what she said, then please tell me that. I never saw anywhere where Nev Campbell was talking about the dispute she had from Scream 6 where it was never about money. She made it clear that if she were a man, she wouldn't have been given the offer that she was given, which she thought was disrespectful. She made it clear that that was about money. What, again, I have to stress, I don't know where these other outside factors came from. I don't know where people started pulling in these ideas that she was talking about more than just money outside of money to her. When it comes to Sydney Prescott, the only secondary thing she cares about is just making sure that Sydney is used correctly. I trust that Kevin Williamson will make sure that Sydney is used correctly. As we start to hear more and more things about this film, I can see myself becoming more open to whatever it ends up being. Obviously the Melissa Barrera things, B Melissa Barrera's firing still leaves a bad taste in my mouth because I wanted to see Sam's story continued. It's not happening though. I don't live in La La Land and I'm able to move on and just talk about what we're going to get and I will judge it on its own merit and decide if it's a good or bad film. Now, the other thing I was going to address is that Nev Campbell's convention that she had set up in July, I think it was called Galaxy Con or something like that. I've talked about it on this channel in the past. That seems to have been removed, which continues to back up that maybe Scream 7 is indeed eyeing a summer shoot and not a fall shoot the way Nev Campbell thought it was going to be, as she told her agent, Sean Clark. And I can also say this, while it's not confirmed, I don't want to say it's confirmed, one of the databases that are tied to what actors will use in Hollywood does show that Scream 7 is locked down or not locked down, but I guess penciled in to start shooting in the summer. It doesn't give a month or anything. It just says summer of 2024. Whether that sticks, we'll have to wait and see. It's not confirmed, of course, until they start actually shooting in the summer. But it seems as though Scream 7 is indeed eyeing a summer shoot. As I've stated in the past, specifically what I've heard is that they are trying to start shooting sometime during the first week of june which ultimately would end up being the last week of may if they actually go that route to start shooting the last week of may i've talked about how patrick dempsey shot down bridget jones allegedly because of the fact that that's going to interfere i would imagine with whatever he has committed to doing with scream 7 all of which again is not confirmed just yet carrie russell is not confirmed that halloween trilogy star is not confirmed not confirmed we'll have to wait and see what all ends up being confirmed about the film and until then Everybody just try to remain calm. I know everybody's excited. Well, not everybody. Everybody who wanted Sydney back is excited. Those of us, myself included, who wanted Melissa Barrera, Sam Carpenter's story to be concluded or at least see what they had planned out, play out on screen. Yes, we are going into this a little bit hesitant. Those of us who are still going to watch the film, we're going into it a little bit hesitant because of the fact that this is not the film that we were going to get. Nev Campbell, I will also stress this, was a part of the original plan 
for Scream 7. She was not just added simply because Melissa Barrera was fired. She was always going to be a part of this alleged dual story that, again, remember, allegedly took place in the winter time. And that was all the stuff that was going to take place with Christopher Landon and his creative team when they were in, involved. Now that they're gone, Nav has just taken over the story completely. She was already part of it. I just don't want people to think that it's all coming down to Melissa being fired. Sydney Prescott did play a factor in the original Scream 7 draft. She was in it. Now she's just taken over completely because the other half of it is gone. Actually, like I also stated, that other half, which would have been the core four and Sam story, that's just being completely erased and replaced with a new story of teens. Like I've talked about, rumored to be Sydney's babysitter and her friends, and they're expected to be the co-leads leading the story, her and her friends. We'll see how that all plays out and if any of that ends up being true. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What did you think about Nev Campbell's excitement? Do you think she's going to knock it out of the park once again as Sydney Prescott? She's never let us down in the past. I don't see why she would. Do you think that Kevin Williamson will be a good fit in the director's chair for Scream 7? Let me know why down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification at Nemi's video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.